In Flagler County, two men are in jail after an hours long standoff that forced neighbors to leave or shelter in place. 55 year old Robert DeThero is facing charges, including assault of an officer, resisting without violence and exposure of sexual organs after the nearly eight hour incident. West Chews Haley Grumbleholm found out law enforcement believes some of the man's anger stems from the arrest of his son following a stabbing. I thought they would be not carrying him out like they did with him yelling and whatever. I thought they'd be carrying him out in a bag. This home with the boarded up doors and Confederate flags and no trespassing signs dotting the lawn is where law enforcement and 55 year old Robert Deathrow were locked in a standoff Wednesday. In the early hours of the nearly eight hour ordeal, one of his neighbors says he tried to intervene while passing by. I said, Robert, I'm not telling you nothing. I ask you. And I'm asking you to calm down, just chill. And he responded, he said, brother, today, today is judge, judgment day. The sheriff's office said they were called out to Forsyth Lane in Palm Coast about people living on the street playing music throughout the night and blocking the road with a table, chairs and other items. They were told the home belonged to the parents of a man who was arrested after a stabbing over a religious debate in March. When law enforcement arrived, they encountered the man's father, Robert. He conducted himself inappropriately, exposing himself. And after deputies called for backup. This individual started throwing uh, bottles uh, at her. Sheriff Rick Staley described Robert Dathero as a religious fanatic and said he had recently posted concerning videos on social media. He was obviously escalating and was filing out of control with conspiracy and you know, America was dying. He wanted me arrested, I think, for a treason or something like that. And that all centered around the arrest of the son. Ultimately, the sheriff said they used a piece of equipment to take out the garage door. They took out the front door, too, and were able to send in a robot that could give them a look inside. It wasn't too long after that Dethero finally gave up. Not peacefully, but he gave up. In Flagler County, Haley Crubble home, West 2 News.